EA Sports. It's in the game. NHL. 2005. What's going on guys? After doing all those trade sims last week for the trade deadline, I figured it was time to do another retro trade simulation. I haven't done one of these in like three years since I did the Joe Thornton one. I'm not sure why I waited so long, but the top comment on that one was someone saying I gotta try the Danny Healy for Marion Hosted trade in NHL 2005. And that's exactly what I'm doing today. Grab my copy of NHL 2005 and booted it up for you guys. I will say a lot of people have, you know, good memories of this game for me. I never got to play it. I actually got it on PC and then my PC couldn't run it. So uh, for me, it's kind of a disappointing game. I had NHL 03 on PC, 04 on GameCube. And then I think I had like 06 on PS2, 05. I only got to play like at friend's house and stuff, but now I have it. I know a lot of people say this game had one of the best soundtracks. If you guys are curious, right here's a quick look at it. Obviously I have to have it all turned off for copyright reasons. But we're gonna jump into a dynasty mode here guys and try this trade, Danny Heatley for Marion Hossa and Greg DeVries. I think one of the bigger trades in NHL history, I think after Danny Heatley's accident and everything, he wanted out of Atlanta. And I would decide to jump on the opportunity trading Marion Hossa, who I think was like, you know, just as much of an all-star player. So I will try the trade first from Atlanta's perspective. You can see here like the old stats. It's like offense, defense, goaltending, and then I'm not even sure, honestly. Uh, maybe that's overall with the Stanley Cup. They got the style there of Speedy. Definitely very nostalgic, like seeing this old menu and everything. So I'm curious to see what happens in game, just like, you know, my regular trade sims will try this from each team's perspective. Uh, the trade typically is just gonna be like on medium, regular, whatever it normally is. And what's kind of funny too, is this trade actually happened, I think like a month before NHL 06 came out. So uh, we're already on NHL 2005, but just know, Danny Haley didn't even actually play in the NHL this year. He was actually playing over in Europe before uh, the Thrashers did make that big trade. Still 92 overall there in game, 23 years old. Um, unsigned, they got him on the entry level deal before he got that contract with the Senators. Uh, if you guys are curious, we'll take a look here at all of his stats. So uh, Danny Haley there, I mean, they actually show him at 93 overall when you click it. I'm not sure how that works. They got him as a sniper, a playmaker, even a heavy hitter. Um, look at the shot there, like 96 for the wrist shot. Uh, skating there, speed 88. It looks like it actually changes on this screen. No idea what's going on. Maybe somebody who remembers better can tell me. I love the old hero rating too, 92. Uh, those guys just play better in the clutch. I also love how he's got 93 overall with a 92 potential. So he's like already exceeded his potential. Again, guys, you look at his stats there. Like both these dudes are all stars. Marion Host is definitely going to go down as a Hall of Famer. But again, Danny Healy after this trade put up a 1506, then 1507. Back-to-back 100-point 100 seasons. Even Marion Hossa had 100 points two years after getting traded to the Thrashers. So, like, one of the biggest, you know, essentially one-for-one -one trades, I think, in NHL history. So, we'll add Danny Heatley there to the Thrashers side. Now, we'll go over to Ottawa. I don't know, like, DeVries, what he's going to have. I think Hossa, though, should have a pretty similar rating. Danny Alfredson there, 93. They got Danny Chara still on the team. Very cool. And, yeah, Marion Hossa there, also 92 overall. He's 25, so a couple years older. He was making 2.4 million. And so we'll click on Marion Hosa here. Again, it says he's 93 overall on this screen, but 92 on the other. I don't understand what's going on NHL 2005. His potential 81, he's destroyed it. He's got the uh, shooting, playmaking, and the speed abilities. So those are kind of like an early version of X Factors, honestly. I love, he's got like the long frosted tips as well. Great passer there. I mean, should be like a solid two-way player. I don't really see like an offensive defense awareness, but like he's got uh, good puck control. Toughness is kind of low, checking 79. So like these are the only stats that's really showing me. But again, guys, like super cool, you know, looking back on this. And as I mentioned with Hosa, the Thrashers also got Greg DeVries. So this is alphabetically actually probably already went by him. You know what? I, they probably don't count like the duh. So it's probably like a V and there he is. Yeah, Greg DeVries, 77 overall, 31 years old. Was making 3.3 million as a 77 overall guy. Quick look at him though. Greg DeVries, I mean, yeah, 78 overall. Looks to be a pretty average bond pairing defenseman. I'm not gonna lie, I don't remember too much about this guy, which looking at his DB page makes sense. Started playing in the NHL like shortly after I was born. Uh, he had a pretty good career though, like almost 900 games played. So, uh, the Thrashers get Marion Hosa and Greg DeVries there for Danny Heatley. Again, same ring as Hosa, just two years younger. So I feel like the Senators probably say yes to this trade. Let's uh, try it here. Trade's been rejected. The Senators do not want Heatley for Hosa and DeVries. Honestly, I'm a bit surprised by that, especially since in the older games, it was a lot easier to make trades, but I'll try it now from the Senators side. Also, guys, looking for agency here, shout out to Zachary Priest. He's the number one free agent. This is back when they'd like, you know, put uh, different kids in free agency. I think it was like usually Make-A-Wish kids, stuff like that. I'm not sure really why they stopped it. I feel like if you didn't want them, you could take them out, but obviously very cool for them. And this is kind of funny, guys. Before loading back into Dynasty mode, I see they also had a World Cup of Hockey mode back in 05. Same with EA Sports Free Fro, which is basically just like the ones mode you guys know, but um, only for couch co-op. So really interesting how many, you know, modes they get rid of, they bring back um, as time goes on. But 
Like I was saying, guys, we're going to try this now from the Senators' side. And now the Senators here, you can see, are the better team. 83 offense, 84 defense, 84 goal team. I think it's got to be overall, because, like, 84 makes sense. Uh, with the Stanley Cup, that is. Style there, balanced. And so I just added the players to the trade screen, guys. We'll see what happens now. I think, you know, maybe the Thrashers also reject, which would just tell us that EA thinks this was a fair trade at the time, which, I mean, both being 92 overall, only a couple year difference. DeVries doesn't really move the needle one way or the other. I do think... It's probably a fair trade. I honestly probably think DeVries probably got traded by the Sens so they could afford Healy's new contract. Let's see what the Thrashers say. Trade's been accepted. Oh, never mind. Okay, so uh, EA does feel like, you know, the Thrashers there won that trade getting Hossa and DeVries. Look at history. Healy back-to-back, -back, you know, 50 goal seasons, 100 point seasons. Hossa had a 100 point year, but only stayed in Atlanta for a couple seasons where as Healy actually stayed with the Senators for four years before leaving. Hossa definitely had the better career. Three time, you know, still like a finalist before finally winning it with the Blackhawks. I don't know. I think overall it was a pretty fair trade, you know, as far as trades goes. Let me hear your guys' thoughts in the comment section below. Which team do you think won that trade? And as always, guys, hopefully you enjoyed this video. If you did, leave that thumbs up. If you haven't subscribed yet, hit the sub button down below. Thank you guys for watching. Have a nice day. Goodbye.